September 18th. But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. 2 Corinthians 3.18 Is your knowledge of God a transforming knowledge? Have you so become acquainted with God as to receive the impress, as it were, of what God is? For a true knowledge of God is a transforming knowledge. As I look upon the glory of God, I am changed into that glory. And as my acquaintance with God deepens, I become more like God. There is a transfer of God's moral image to my soul. Is your knowledge then transforming? Does your acquaintance with God make you more like God, more holy, more divine, more heavenly, more spiritual? Does it prompt you to pant after conformity to God's mind, desiring in all things to walk so as to please God, and to have, as it were, a transfer of the nature of God to your soul? Examine, therefore, your professed acquaintance with God, and see whether it is that acquaintance which will bring you to heaven, and you'll go on increasingly through the countless ages of eternity. And I would say to God's saints, trace the cause of much of our uneven walking, of our little holiness, and consequently of our little happiness, to our imperfect acquaintance with what God is. Did I know more of what God is to me in Christ? How he loves me? What a deep interest he takes in all my concerns. Did I know that he never withdraws his eyes from me for one moment? That his heart of love never grows cold? Oh, did I but know this, would I not walk more as one acquainted with God? Would I not desire to consult him in all that interests me, to acknowledge him in all my ways, to look up to him in all things, and to deal with him in all matters? Would I not desire to be more like him, more holy, more divine, more Christ-like? Yes, beloved, it's because we know him so little that we walk so much in uneven ways. We consult man rather than God. We flee from the asylum of a creature bosom rather than to the bosom of the Father. We go to the sympathy of man rather than to the sympathy of God in Christ because we are so imperfectly acquainted with God. But did I know more clearly what God is to me in the Son of His love? I should say, I have not a trial, but I may take the trial to my Father. I am not in our perplexity, but I may go to God for counsel. I am in no difficulty. I have no want, but it is my privilege to spread it before my Father, to unveil my heart of sin, my heart of wretchedness, my heart of poverty, to him who has unveiled his heart of love, his heart of grace, his heart of tenderness to me in Christ. As I become more acquainted with God, my character and my Christian walk will be more even, more circumspect, more holy, and consequently more happy.